Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Stable Doodle, and I wanna show you how to turn your drawings like this masterpiece into amazing images. Like we're doing uh, AI art generation, but instead of using text, we're now using images as the prompt. And here's the original image. And now here is a mountain made of cottage cheese and has done a pretty good job. If you ask me, let me show you how to do it. And then at the end of the video, I'm even gonna show you how to turn it into a vector graphic if you really wanna get going. So first step here is I'm just gonna clear all this out. What you need to do is you need to go to clipdrop.co and click on at slash stable doodle. I will put a link in the description below. The next step is you're gonna see this little screen here. You get two options. You can have a pen or an eraser. It's nice and simple. So in this case, I don't know, maybe let's draw like an owl. I'm gonna draw these big owly eyes maybe. Yeah, I'm a terrible drawer, I, I understand, trust me. And then, I don't know, maybe the owl goes something like that and his legs come down like this. And then he's got like these little feet that go something like that maybe and I don't know, I mean, I can't draw and I'm using my trackpad, so I guess I'll close this up and then we've got this nice sharp thing and then I'm gonna add some spots on the owl, something like that. I don't even know what the heck I'm doing, but whatever, this is an owl, okay? So there we go, this is, oh, we need wings for the owl. So I'm gonna draw the wing. There we go, look at this good looking owl. Okay, so here we've got an owl. Um, let's do sad owl made from origami all right let's go ahead and generate that and before i hit that do keep in mind that you can click on this button here that says no style this is just to do it kind of raw dog it but if you want to try one of the other styles like photographic fantasy art origami geez what the heck am i doing isometric digital art comic book Ooh, that sounds pretty cool let's do comic book i'm going to select that one you can go ahead and flip through them there's all those different styles and again while i click generate i'm going to tell you a bit more about this this is on clip drop but this uses stable sdxl 0.9 and look at that this is very cool um this one here at the bottom right kind of looks like what i was getting at this one here also looks pretty good, but um, yeah, it's not really facing the camera the way I wanted it. But there you go. If I wanted to change from comic book to, let's say, low poly, I can just go ahead and click that button, hit generate, and you can take your terrible drawings. Well, my terrible drawings. You probably are a good drawer. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's got the little triangular nose. doesn't have the wings, maybe, but there you go. This is creating your drawings into... AI art generation. It's done really, really simple. Also, let me show you one more thing. If you take, if I wanted to download, let's say I like this one here, I click on it. I'm just going to go ahead and click on download HD. And then I'm going to go to another website called vectorizer.ai and watch this. I'm going to take that image that I just downloaded. Let's just take any image actually. Where the heck did I do? Let's just, where is that little owl? Let's take this owl here that I downloaded. That's not the one actually. It's this one. Sorry. Drag it and drop it onto vectorizer.ai and watch this. I'm just going to click on OK. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to crop it first. I'm just going to pull this in a little so it's a little bit simpler so you guys can see what's happening. But what I'm going to do essentially is I'm going to make a scalable vector graphic. And I'm also cropping out the part where the watermark is. So I'm going to click on OK. So we're getting rid of the watermark and we're turning this into a scalable vector graphic. And once that's downloaded, here's what it looks like in Adobe Illustrator. Here's an example of one I did earlier. Here's another owl. This is fully vectorized. And I mean, it's got hundreds of paths inside Adobe Illustrator. Let's go back to the uh, version that I was gonna use here. Oh, this looks pretty damn good. I'm gonna download it and I'll show you that it's the real deal. Note, you can make a few changes to it, but I'm gonna avoid those. I'm just gonna download it as is, but you should be aware that you can make a few little changes. Okay, there it is. It's downloaded, it's called Sketch 2. I'm gonna click on it in my finder. Here it is, you'll see here that it says sketch-2.svg. And if we go into uh, Adobe Illustrator, I'm gonna drag and drop that SVG file in. I'll zoom out, there we go, we've got a vector graphic. If I click on that little triangle, look at that a perfect well very close to perfect vector graphic from my own sketch all for free thanks for watching